G'day, Craig Hagen here again from Coex Training. Today I thought we'd talk about uh, using circuit breakers as isolation points. <clears throat> circuit breakers are commonly used for isolation points and high voltage isolations, but not all circuit breakers are appropriate for this purpose. What I'm going to demonstrate to you today is a rackable circuit breaker used uh, for isolation and a fixed circuit breaker. So first I'm going to demonstrate how to use a rackable circuit breaker or withdrawable circuit breaker as an isolation point. I've already opened the circuit breaker but by opening it alone is not sufficient enough to, to, uh, to uh, have a positive isolation. What I need to do now is withdraw the circuit breaker off the system. On this style of circuit breaker it's a manual withdrawal which means there is a certain amount of racking to be done, but I'll be withdrawing it by hand. Now, I've withdrawn this circuit breaker completely out of the cabinet. Now, that is sufficient for an isolation. Now, I can just move ahead and uh, earth my outgoing cables, and I've got myself uh, an isolation that's suitable to have a, a permit attached to it. The reason why this is a acceptable isolation is that the circuit breaker itself has been removed from the live bus and the outgoing cable spools. So there is no connection whatsoever between the bus and the outgoing cable. So there is no possible way that cable can be re-energized until this truck goes back inside. Okay, over to this one here. Um, as you can see, this circuit breaker in this panel is not withdrawable. So to open this circuit breaker, it's a pretty simple task of pressing the open button. Okay, the circuit breaker is now gone to the off position or open position. That by itself is not sufficient for an isolation. The main reason being if there is a malfunction in the circuit breaker, it can reclose. And if it recloses, then we're going to have power going back out. So on this type of circuit breaker, there will always be either an inbuilt isolator downstream of the circuit breaker, or there'll be an external isolator, which will, you'll carry out the isolation and attach your lock and tags to it. The circuit breaker in this type of isolation is only used to remove the load off the isolator. So by opening this up now, the load has been removed. So now it's a simple task for me to open the isolator. Now I can lock and tag here, close the earth switch, and I have a sufficient and safe isolation for work on the other end of that cable. It also should be noted, people, that none of this equipment in here is energized. So that's the reason why I'm not wearing PPE.